You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Ashton Redberg. I'm living out of San Luis Obispo right now. I'm coming to the track events. This is my car right here. It's a 350Z uh, LS3 powered. Um, pretty much a stock car with a cam in it and then uh, got some, some suspension on it, you know, um, for drifting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. What year is this uh, 350Z? So this car is a 2004. Uh, 350Z, but basically the only thing that's left in it is the differential, and even that has a limited slip, a Tomy limited slip in it, so it's okay. it's not really anything stock anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you said the diff, that's pretty much the only thing? Yeah, that's the, about the only thing that's stock left oh, in yeah. it, yeah. And this is in the subframes, but that's about it, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. What kind of livery is this? Um, so my, my friend actually Eminence uh, Wrap Shop up in Stockton, mm -hmm. he helped me get it done. Um, he, I took it to him and he got it all done for me today. We added some chrome red to it and it came out really nice. I like it, yeah. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. It looks, looks really cool. Yeah. You got all the, all your sponsors on there too? Or? Yeah, so, um, so, uh, Kansai Wheels is helping me out with wheels. Uh, Part Shop Max is helping me out with suspension. I love their, their angle kit. Um, and, uh, KM Drivelines up in Modesto. They got me a new drive shaft and, uh, that thing's working great. We've got some other guys that have been helping me out too. Yeah, I'm, I'm very very grateful. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of wide body is this? This is actually a Carbon Crown Crafting. They help me out too. Carbon they're, they're, Crown? Yeah, yeah uh, Crown Carbon Crafting. These are, these are some guys, I think they're they're over here in LA too somewhere. Um, yeah, th those guys are really cool. Harvey, he owns he owns that business. And they're, I love their fenders. Their fenders are honestly the best quality fenders in my opinion. Uh, super thin fiberglass and great carbon fiber as well. Yeah, those are great guys right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dude, they look super wide. <laughs> yeah, definitely had to add some spacers to, to get the the um, functionality of the car and then also for the angle kit as well. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to pop the hood? Yeah, okay. let's do it. Okay. I know, right? It's a little dusty, but it is. Okay. And what kind of LS is this? Uh, LS3. Um, it's the aluminum block, and then we set it up. We got it all set up. We got this whole car set up over at Drift Cave over in San Jose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Matt Matt Fields uh, and, and Daniel Chow's business over there. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I actually I actually worked there for a couple of years. Um, it was a great opportunity they gave me, and uh, I learned so much there. Very grateful for that. Yeah. Oh. So, what exactly have you done to this LS3? Uh, just a cam. That's that's literally it. Uh, camp like Matt has uh, some cam that he liked from Texas Speed, Texas Speed cam that we swapped in it, and got it tuned over here at Black Tracks. And then uh, yeah, Jay over at Black Tracks helped us tune it, and then it's uh, solid. Yeah, it's, okay. it's been running solid ever since. And that was that was three three years ago. Wow. Yeah. So it's been treating you pretty well. So good. How about supporting mods, like cooling or um, any supporting mods like that? Yeah, I mean, we went with a CNR cooling system. Um, just some other, so we have a power steering cooler, oil cooler, but other than that, that's pretty much it. And it's all up here in the front. Uh -huh. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, who tuned it? Or is it tuned? That's Black Tracks. Pla oh. Black Tracks. Black Tracks, Jay from Black Tracks, he's up in San Jose, and he, he tuned it. Yeah. Okay. Did it. Was that process pretty smooth, like tuning it on the dyno and everything? Yeah, it's always scary going there and them just revving it like as hard as they can. That's that's like scary, but he, <laughs> it, it, it worked out. Yeah, it's really good. It's been solid ever since. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Aaron Parker, actually, he wired it for me. We bought we bought a, uh, a, uh, an engine harness, and then he, he uh, created the body harness himself made the switch panel the switch panel and then also the um, relay and, and fuse panel itself yeah it's, it's really it's really nice really really set up well in there yeah i was checking out the interior it looks super clean in there yeah i got to i got to do a lot of those things myself too um yeah and i tried i tried making it you know look nice you know and uh doing some fun things to it you know some drift stuff yeah how about your uh wheels and suspension yeah so part shop max angle kit they're they're a great uh, company they always get me parts as fast as they possibly can. And they, they've helped me out a lot too. They've definitely helped me out a lot. Um, talking with them even on the phone, you know, and talking with them on any questions I have. Um, and then Kansai Wheels, they, 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 they helped me out too. They were giving me 50% off, you know. And uh, the wheels themselves are great wheels. They're, they're super lightweight compared to other, other wheel companies' wheels I've used before. And uh, there's, there's some other things that I just love about them too. Yeah. Okay. Are you running all part shop max for your like uh, coilovers and arms? And yep, things? yep, coilovers and arms, part shop max. They they get me all the parts I need super quick. I even got a part shop max rack forward cross member set that they 
they actually built it for me and sent it to me over at Drift Cave. Wow. Yeah, I'm very grateful for that. They, uh, cool. and, and it's really awesome too. I actually ended up making another one and putting it on my street car. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So is that um, that part you mentioned? Is it off the shelf or was it custom made? So they have they they have them in stock, and you just got it. You got to cut. You got to take your cross member off or get another cross member. Cut cut it up a little bit. Add the plate, and it pushes your rack a little more forward. So you don't need rack offset spacers on your tie rods, and that actually save it. it I, I swear it'll save your your steering rack. Yeah, okay. it's a very good modification. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely needed. I think in my opinion. Yeah, I've heard a bunch of. Uh, Good things about Park Shop Max. Yeah, they're a good company. Yeah, solid company. You want to talk about the interior or move over to the interior? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just uh, just some little things I've done um, to make it look nice. I, I, the dash used to be gray, actually, and I uh, used flock it on the dash. Mm -hmm. Turned it all black and not glaring or anything like that. So I actually really like that. It has little carbon fiber pieces and the, the, where the radio used to be, you know. And then uh, we got a Park Shop Max handbrake in there. Uh, that thing's sick. Um, dual caliper handbrake setup. So, but there's uh, there actually is some stocks. So, like the the pedals, the pedals are actually all stock in here. The gas tank stock in here as well. I forgot about that stuff. Oh wow. Yeah. There's some things that you don't necessarily need to do to, to build a, a pro car. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably my favorite part about the car is like how clean the interior is. Yeah. Super clean. Mm -hmm. Andy over at Drift Cave. He actually. He, this is before I was building dri uh, roll cages myself. He, he built this roll cage and it came out phenomenal too. I mean, look at if you if you watch in here, I'll close the door and you can see it just fits right and the door like that. That's yeah. maximum room in there. Super clean fit. <laughs> yeah, super clean fit. Yeah. And you got the Sparco seats in there. Yeah, Sparco seats. I love these saw belt. These saw belt. Um, so these are two inch, two inch. A lot of the guys have three inch, but I like the the thinner, the thinner two inch uh, belts. So yeah. would you say you're pretty comfortable in there? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I, I like it. I'm set it up pretty nice in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were ripping out there on track. Too, Thank right? you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the cobwebs off right now because I haven't, I haven't done a competition or drifted in a while. So, but I'm excited to keep coming to these events. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely coming over here uh, more often. That's the spirit. Yeah. 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 Is there anything else you want to show us on the car? Or? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 all it's all there. Uh, you did a lot to this. Thing. Yeah, I mean, we we did a lot over at Drift Cape, and I've had to upkeep it, you know, um, a bunch. But it's um, it's been a blessing to me, and I'm very fortunate that my dad helped me out. You know, he actually helped me out and build the car because uh, I had some money, but I didn't have enough money, you know, to do this. And he he helped me out. He supported me a lot, and so I'm very grateful for him. Um, just being passionate with me about this sport and and helping me get it done. Yeah, and I'm trying to repay him and different ways you know and, and selling selling some of the stuff and giving him the money you know but he's definitely just been a very good supporter i'm very fortunate for him it's really expensive you no know, it's just so expensive yeah yeah for sure even the tires I'm, I'm finding ways to save money on tires and everything like that yeah 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 dude i look forward to seeing you at more events thank you so much Danny. Yeah. yeah yeah thank you so much just make sure whenever you want to model i got you <laughs> <laughs> is that a model over here <laughs> For the yeah. homies. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Steve. Yeah, thank you, Danny. Appreciate yeah. it.